listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishas out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It is a lovely winter morning here in Gwinnett County, 40 degrees, going up to a high of 51. Clear skies, though, so it's going to be nice. Just chilly, but it is winter time, so that's to be expected. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I did. I had a busy weekend. You see, I went to dinner. Always a good thing when I can eat crabs. I like crabs. Um, what else did I do? I didn't do much. I did more work than anything, especially yesterday. I had three meetings yesterday. I did a newsletter and an article. So I, <laughs> it was supposed to be my rest day. I didn't get any rest yesterday. Yesterday was a busy day, but it's okay because I got a lot accomplished. And um, whenever I can get stuff accomplished, I'm excited. So I got a lot accomplished. I got a lot of good things coming down the pike. I'm going to be releasing my first NFT. I'm so excited about that. You guys have no idea. It's going to be um, released on the 23rd of January, which is my granddaughter's birthday. And I'm excited about that as well. Um, cause that's something super duper new to me. I, I'm, I'm learning how to make it happen. I got the last couple of things I need to do today, this week, not today, but this week. Um, like I got to set up a web page for it and all that good stuff. So I'm excited about that. And just, just learning about the NFT industry and the metaverse. And I'm just, I'm excited. So, um, that's one of my big, now that was not planned. That was not planned. And I have to tell y'all, um, what happened was my goal was to, my goal still is to uh, take Good Morning Gwinnett to a million dollar business this year, right? That's the goal. Million subscribers, million downloads, a million dollars in revenue. That's the goal. But what happened was, and, and me doing research on how to do that, I came across NFTs. And the more I looked at NFTs, the more I realized, wait a minute, I could do this. I could do an NFT, right? And I started to study. I spent all last week when I should have been spending time studying about growing my audience. I spent time on NFTs and I was like, okay, I could do this. And so I'm excited to announce that my first NFT will go live January 23rd. And so I still have some things I have to finish up. Like I have to do a website for the NFT and all that good stuff. So it's exciting. It's exciting because I'm telling you, you have your own plan, but God has a different plan. Something inside of me is telling me that this plan right here is probably better than my plan. Or, or, you know, it may not be as, as better as I thought, but something to tell me is, it's going to be great. So I'm excited about that. So, you know, stick around. So let me just, let me just explain real quick what what I've learned of what an NFT is. So an NFT is a non, it's a non-fungible token, non-fungible token, fung, non-fungible token. So what that means is that, okay, if you have a dollar, the exchange is the same. You can exchange a dollar for a dollar. But with the non-fungible token, you can exchange that. So it's like having a $5 bill and a dollar bill. The value is not the same. So you can't make an even exchange. That's what a non-fungible token is. A dollar for dollar is a fungible token. A non-fungible token will be $5 to a dollar. That would not, because it's not the same value. It's not the same value exchange. So that's what, that's what I've understood it to be. And what's crazy is, y'all, I've been watching people. People trade NFTs like they trade stock. And you can lose a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing. Or if you invest in an NFT that's really risky. It's crazy. It's just, it's just nuts. It's like a game. But it's a game that's going to change the world. It's, it's a game that's going to change the way people do things. It's a game that's going to give opportunities to some folks. So it's, it's exciting. I'm not going to even front. I'm, I'm having a real good time getting ready to make this launch. And um, I don't plan on keep doing it. I, I don't. I say that now, right? But I guarantee... I believe that it, if it goes the way that I foresee it, ooh, I'll probably be addictive. I'll probably be addicted on, on the other side, on the creative side, because um, I like to create things. I, and this has been so much fun for me. Like, literally, it has been a lot of fun creating this NFT. So, um, I don't know. I can't say that I won't be addicted to it, because I can see people are addicted to trading. So, they, they buy NFTs, and then they flip them. They flip them like they flip houses. You know, like, they buy NFT, they'll hold it for a certain amount of time, and then they flip it. And believe it or not, there are people out there waiting to buy the flip. It's like flipping houses. It's crazy, um, but it's exciting. So stay tuned. I'll let you know where to go when I get on the boards and all that good stuff. And, you know, so if you want to buy into the NFT, I'm not. Listen, this is not me giving out financial advice, although I am a financial advisor and licensed. But this is not me giving out financial advice. This is me saying 
I'm I'm probably gonna do some little history making on this one too um, because of a certain parameters that are in place and that means that my NFT is probably gonna be worth a lot more like later um, so you might want to get it now it's crazy I listen when I, I've been in the, I've been in the collectible space for a long time I've been investing for a minute in cryptocurrencies I've been investing probably a little bit over a year now and so I watch my crypto stock my husband watch his more than I do I don't watch mine as often he watches his a lot I know people are they love crypto right now there's some people that are afraid because it's so volatile it's so um, you don't know what's gonna happen from one day to the next that's the stock market in general but I know that when I put this out I'm expecting great things for it to happen to happen with this um, a lot of great things not just not just me actually selling the NFT but the residual of me selling the NFT I'm expecting some great things to happen and I got some great ideas about some things that I want to make happen so you know it's exciting so look out for your girls NFT is coming soon um, I'll be talking about it every day until it comes out I let you know like any kind of what I'm going through um, what the process is looking like so I'll be talking more about this so far I, all the artwork for the NFT is created that's the first step the artwork is first so that's all created um, the next step is I have to build a website so that's the next step so anybody you know a website is a website and then I talk about the next steps and the next step and the next step and so just just listen tune in I know you want to get your horoscopes and, and you want to get your your daily inspiration and all that kind of stuff but if you if you ever thought about doing an NFT follow me because that's what I'm as a matter of fact I'm gonna be doing a it was so funny I didn't realize I had like 11,000 followers and connections on LinkedIn someone told me I was like what right I thought I had f almost 6,000 but I got 11 oh, I probably got 12 by now 12,000 between followers and connections I have about 12,000 on LinkedIn so that's exciting but I was in a meeting last night because I'm one of the chair people of the tri-state smart woman partner and grow rich I'm one of the chair people um, of that organization we were on there last night and we were talking about it so I'm gonna be doing a, a newsletter on LinkedIn I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet um, but it's gonna be a newsletter on LinkedIn I do a newsletter for good morning with net that goes out every Monday morning and I'm gonna do a newsletter on LinkedIn for this whole um, NFT thingy and I haven't figured it out yet I haven't figured out the name of it. but anyway make sure to go and become a friend on LinkedIn and that's you can find me under Audrey Bell Kearney or noise media noise media the company is Noise Media Network, but you can find me under Noise Media. All right, all right, let's get it on because I got a short show. I got I got meetings back to back today, and I have to do I have to be out of this house by ten forty to get to my first meeting. So I can't keep talking. Shut your mouth, Audrey. Do the do do what's going on for today. So today is National Clean Off Your Desk Day. Some of you are saying yes. I got two desks. I got three desks in my office, and I swear two of them are junky. And, and it's only because I got my Christmas stuff is on one desk that I really need to take to the studio. And on the other desk, I got my hobby. <laughs> so I got my resin art and all my resin all over the other thing. And then the rest of them got my, my computer. So National Clean Off Your Desk Day. It's also National Bittersweet Chocolate Day. I don't know I don't know how that tastes. I'm not trying to taste bittersweet chocolate. But if you just like chocolate, knock yourself out. It's National Cut Your Energy Cost Day. Yes. Yes, yes, cut your energy, cut your lights off, unplug things. Believe it or not, we leave everything plugged up, but if we unplug some stuff, that will cut your energy costs. I, someone told me that a couple of years ago, and I realized that my house has a lot of things plugged in, and so we started unplugging stuff. I don't, even, I didn't pay attention to the energy bill, honestly, to tell you whether or not the cost went down, but I know I, I cut costs, probably so. Oh, my goodness, listen to this. It's National Oyster Rockefeller Day. I love Oyster Rockefeller. Love, 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 love. My husband made his own version of Oyster Rockefeller, and it is delicious. He surprised me a couple weeks ago with um with with some, and when I came home, I was like, oh my! And it, when I tell y'all it was delicious, he has his own spin on it. It's, it's it's probably called it should be called Frank's Oyster Rockefeller because it's his spin on Oyster Rockefeller. It was delicious too. It's also National Save the Eagles Day, so if you're anywhere where eagles are, save an eagle. You know they are rare, and they are strong, and they soar. Yes, they do. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Michael Thompson for the day, Monday, January the 10th. Yes, it is January the 10th. It is, it is. We're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. It will be important that you have your priorities straight. Better still, take your mate and let them foot the bill. All right, listen, that's okay. Do your mate always foot the bill, Aries? You know, I'm just saying, take your mate and let them foot the bill. That sounds like you inviting somebody on a date and then they have to pay. What does that mean? I don't know, Aries. Travel could bring you the adventure and excitement you require. Are you bored? 
are you bored and looking for excitement today you can get that excitement i know i'm silly that's what happens when you go to sleep i went to bed last night like really early probably like 10 o'clock that's early for me really, really i can't wait to see my fitbit says it'll tell me like you slept seven and a half hours i'll be like yes but i can tell when i get enough rest because i get up feeling like this great taurus opportunities to take to make advancement through good business sense are apparent do a little sh shopping you're likely to find a real bargain you will be able to enlist the help of your colleagues who believe in your ideas yes yes you're gonna enlist them i listen but protect your idea taurus i know you want to share with everybody can't share everything with everybody so protect your idea don't tell it to the people who don't have vision because you won't get the answers that you're looking for you won't get the support that you need tell it to the ones that you know got vision that can see beyond the the ordinary I'm just trying to save you some headache. Gemini, it will be important that you have your priorities straight. Emotional pro partnerships may develop through projects you initiate. You could enjoy your involvement in organizations that make charitable, charitable contributions. Yes, your emotional partnerships may develop through projects you initiate. What you what are you initiating? I'm just saying you're gonna make you're gonna get some new partnerships. Emotional ones. Yep. You're gonna get those gonna have a year of love it's a year of love cancer don't let your partner gold you into wearing your heart on your sleeves you must steer clear of overindulgent individuals your ability to rate to relate will close the generation gap okay so who are you relating to today the old folks cancer or the young folks i don't know but your ability to do that is gonna close the generational gap that's a good thing my daughter is a, is a millennial and she helps me with a lot of stuff and understand how they function because, you know, we don't get them. We do not get millennials. But when you sit and talk to them, you can kind of see where they're coming from, right? But you got to talk to them. So she helps me with that. Because we have our own mindset. The Gen I'm a Gen, Gen Xer, and we have our own way of thinking about things and doing things. But, you know, it's, it's amazing. The, the studies and the data that they have on each generation is amazing. If you look at the data, it's so true. It's, it's the weirdest thing. So, yeah. Leo. Focus on what's important rather than spreading yourself too thin and accomplishing little. Try to make amends by planning a nice dinner for two. Don't promise to deliver the goods if you aren't positive that you can meet the deadline. Yeah, don't try to, listen, don't try to be a hero, Leo. If you don't think you can miss, meet the deadline, then don't promise that you can. Because the only thing that's going to do is make you look bad. So just don't do that. I know you want to be the hero. Don't. Not today. Virgo, your ideas can put... Your ideas can be put into action. You can get your point across if you don't beat around the bush. A change of attitude has probably disrupted your home environment. Yeah, don't beat around the bush today. Get your point across, but you can't beat around the bush. Stand up. Say what you got to say. Put your big girl panties on and say what you got to say. Stop beating around the bush. All right, Virgo? All right. Go to the song. I'll be right back after this song and give you more of the horror stories brought to you by Noted Astrology, Mike and Thyphus. Stay tuned. <laughs> It's almost like when we first met Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't want to spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me want to say Damn And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body so give me all you got right now i know i'm yours baby so come give me love you know you're my baby so come give me love i never felt nothing quite like this i get a high every time we kiss can't get enough baby so come give me When I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say 
won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love Sentimental feelings may make it difficult to get much done at work. Exhaustion combined with overindulgence could result in minor health problems. Yes, listen, take, some take care of yourself. Don't do too much. Don't overindulge because you don't want to have health problems. I'm just trying to help you out. Scorpio, travel will also entice you. Self-improvement could bring amazing results. Take time to talk things over. Travel for business or pleasure. I got to tell you all something real quick, and I don't have a lot of time today. God, dog it. And this, let me tell y'all something. I got to say this real quick. On um, Monday mornings, I normally don't have a lot of news. For some reason, it's not a lot going on on Monday. I have a ton of news that I can't get to today because I got to leave. But I said all that to say, I spent last week doing my exercises and all that stuff. I did great, so I dropped three pounds. I was like, yes, do your thing, girl. Do your thing, thing. Scorpio, travel will entice you. Self-improvement could bring amazing results. Take time to talk things over travel for business or pleasure yes 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 Sagittarius try not to overspend on friends or family listen to good friend a good friend who is truly looking out for your best interest plan to visit friends or relatives that person that you planning to, to visit yeah that could be the person that's going to give you some really good advice because they're looking out for your best interest not theirs not yours looking for yours Capricorn refuse to let others make unrealistic demands on you social e evenings at your place will be highly successful you can make successful moves okay listen that you got a whole lot of good stuff going on today cap you're gonna make some successful moves you're gonna have a social evening it's gonna be nice it's gonna be successful you got a successful day it's success for you baby aquarius lay your cards on the table regarding your personal direction you will be able to make favorable changes in your living quarters too much work and no play will not only result in fatigue and frustration but also in loneliness you get one life, Aquarius. I know you're a workaholic like me, but you gotta take a ton. You gotta take advantage of the one life that you have. So too much work, too much work, and not enough play is gonna make you tired and frustrated, and you're gonna be lonely because you're gonna be I isolated from people. That's what happens. I get it. I know. I've done it. Don't do that. Enjoy your life while you build your while you build your uh, your empire. You can do both. I know. I'm doing it right now. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, if you're single. Get out there and you'll meet someone new. All right. Single. Single being the key word, fish. Single. It's not for you married fish. You just, listen, if you're in a situation, fish is not for you. It's for the single, like legally single. Not you Not you living in one bedroom, they living in the other one. No, 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 that's not single. Single means you're not in a situation. I, I feel like I need to emphasize that for somebody. Someone around you may not be trustworthy. Watch your back, fish. Use some diplomacy to get your point across delicately. Yeah, watch your back. Somebody around you is not trustworthy. You can get your point across, but be nice. You ain't got to be abrupt, and, and, and you don't have to be forceful. You can do it in a diplomatic way. Be nice about it. Single fish, have some fun. Marry it in fishing situations, not for you. And watch your back, all right? All right. That's all the horoscopes I got for today. I'll be back again tomorrow to bring you more of the horoscopes. 
Brought to you by Noted Astrology Mike Thoughts. Now let's get on to some news you can use. Well, they sentenced the guy that killed um Ahmad Arbor Arbor. Um, yeah, Arbery. They got they got sentenced on Friday. Um the, the the father and son got life without without a possibility for parole. And the dummy that followed him in the car and took the pic took the video, he got life with, with parole in thirty years. You know, and I think it's so it's so sad that that kid had to lose his life because of just being nasty, evil people, but good. You got what you deserve. Because you took his life without any good reason. Like you took his life. And so now you don't have one. Spend the rest of yours in prison. I think that may be the toughest thing. Knowing that you're going to go to prison, but I guess, you know, human beings, they adopt. They adapt. Yeah, he was just he was just jogging. And, and I'm telling y'all, when they have new construction, my husband and I used to go in them all the time. We weren't going to, still going and looking at what my brother just said just um, just recently, like last week. He went in new construction here and his wife, because they're getting a new construction built, so they went in like a, one of the other houses just to see the layout because theirs is getting built the same way. And, you know, I, I instantly had a flashback when he said that, like, oh, my God. You know, but this is because these three guys right here were just evil, and now you have to pay the price. And every day you wake up and wake up behind a bar, you got to know that you took a life and yours has been taken from you. So I'm, I don't feel sorry for them. I'm not, you know, I don't hold grudges, but I don't feel sorry. You know, they made up this story, and that guy that, the guy that told them, and then he followed them and watched them kill that kid. And, yeah, he should go to prison. He should go. He does get to get, you know, he does get to get out in 30 years. Yeah. Yeah, so he can do the next 30 years in, in, in there, and then he get a chance. The, the other two, they don't get out at all. I'm sure they're going to appeal it, but, you know, it's, you, you took his life. Now sit there and think about it for the next lifetime, or as long as you live. Want to send um, my condolences out to Cindy Poitier and his family. We lost him over the weekend. He was 94 years old. He made a lot of he made a lot of strides in the entertainment in industry as far as African Americans are concerned. He was the first Black actor to win an Academy Award for the best lead, lead performance and the first to be a top box office draw. Yeah, he was 94 years old. He did some amazing things. I remember one of the movies that he's um. He's very well known for, for his lilies of the field, but the other one is look, uh, guess who's coming to dinner? And I remember, I remember working at the hospital in Newark, and there was a gentleman who worked. I worked in X-ray. He worked in ultrasound. And he would always come to my. He was a white guy. He would always come to my desk, and he would hug me. He would give me like massages and all this kind of stuff. But to me, we were just friends because he never did anything in my mind out of the norm. Like that's just we played around all the time. We were just friends. Everybody else saw that as something different. And I remember my mom's friend, her name is Norma. She went over there and told my mother, she said, she said, guess who's coming to dinner? And my mom was like, what are you talking about? But that was one of the movies that Cindy Poitier played in, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And um, it was about him going to dinner, and I think his girlfriend was white. In this case, it was me, and the guy was white. It was it was so funny. He was a really nice guy. Like, we had, we pulled names, um, we used to pull names at, wor at work. And he pulled my name one year. And that was the year when Calvin Klein had Obsession and everybody was wearing Obsession. I like Obsession. And I don't know who told him. I like perfume in general. Like, I love, love, love perfume. Like, in my next life, that's my business. But somebody must have told him that I like Obsession. So we had like a $25 limit. Well, he bought me a giant bottle of Obsession, which had to cost about $80. And everybody was like, what? Like, you know how much that stuff costs? Like, yeah, I know, because I wear it. It was hilarious. But he bought me a really big bottle of obsession. But he was a really nice guy. He never he never said anything to me. He, we were just friends at work. And that was it. We also lost over the weekend Bob Saget. So if you don't know who Bob Saget is, if you ever watched the episode of Full House, he was Danny Tanner. He was the father of the little girls. He was a single dad that had the three little girls. Yeah, he was their father. And we lost him as well. He was 65 years old. Um, and so he's been in the industry for a long time. He's a comedian and an actor. Um... Yeah, listen, life does not wait. It does not wait. Um, now, this is, this is, listen, this is interesting to me, this story right here. So, Arthur Blank, who is the owner of the Falcons, that's the positive for COVID, right? What's interesting about this story is that he had the vaccine, both, and he had the booster, and he still got it. Now, my understanding is that you can still get it, you just won't get sick. You have, like, you know, I guess minor symptoms. I don't know, but that's so scary. And I know a lot of people are going, well, why should I get it in the first place if I'm going to get if, Why should I get the vaccines if I'm going to still get the, the virus? And my, my, my answer to you is because you could die if you don't have any. That's my answer. I'm just saying that's the only answer I got. But anyway, Arthur Blank had it. He stayed home. This is the first time he ever missed a 
a Falcon game in person because he had COVID. So he did the responsible thing to do, which is stay home. And um, he watched the game from home. But that's the first time. So he bought the, he bought the Falcon. <laughs> it must be nice, right? In 2002, he bought the team in 2002, and, 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 and he stayed home. Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being able to – listen – I want a sports franchise. I ain't gonna even front y'all. Like I'm not. I'm not big on material stuff. Let me tell you the things that I want. Because I'm real simple. My husband will tell you I always wanted to have a sports franchise. Right. That's one of the things I wanted. Even if it was like a semi-pro. Like I have tried to buy a basketball team before. A, a WNBA, not WNBA, a WABA, and a ABA basketball team. Like that was one of my things. But I was like, okay, how are we gonna make this work? Um. I talked to him about having having a women's football team before. It's crazy. I like I like sports, but I want to be an owner. So that's just me. So it must be nice to be able to just go and buy the Falcons. Like I can't. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm, I'm putting it out to the universe. I still want a team. I still want a team. Speaking of COVID-19, Gwinnett County Commissioner Chairwoman Nicola Hendrickson signed an emergency order that will require face masks or coverings effective today in all facilities owned by the county. Every, every county facility. So when you go to the facility. Get you a mask because you got to have one when you come in the facility. That's why I'll be going for my meeting in about 10 minutes. I'll be going to the county, so I have my mask to put on. Even though I wore it anyway, you got to wear your mask. So as an employee, employer, the county has experienced a significant amount of employee absenteeism due to the spread of COVID and its variants. So she has said you got to wear a mask when you come inside the building. I know that I've heard that that, that place looks like a ghost town. I'm surprised. That the meeting we're going to at the county is actually in person. I'm surprised about that. Um, we have a meeting with her later today, but earlier today we have another meeting, and I'm surprised that I'm surprised we're even going into the building. I'm surprised that they, you know, that that is something. I, I was just surprised. But anyway, listen, we got a lot of news today, and I can't even get to it all. But I'm gonna get to my last story. So, a Gwinnett judge files to hold Solicitor General Brian Whiteside in contempt of court. Yes, 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 yes. A Gwinnett County State Court judge filed a motion to hold Solicitor General Brian Whiteside and four of his employees in contempt for alleged attempt to close court and cancel in-person proceedings due to the surging Omicron COVID-19. So he said he was going to cancel court, so she held him in contempt. She said, they do not appear virtually nor in person, um, said Walt M. Burke Britt, the Buford-based attorney for Judge Rhonda Colvin Leary, who filed the motion Thursday in the state court. They just canceled court, posted a sign, and canceled the interpreter without the authority or the okay from anyone with the authority to do that. So Brian was trying to look out for everybody, and he's, you know, he's canceled court, and now he's been held in contempt of court. Um, the Gwinnett County Solicitor's Office prosecutes misdemeanor crimes in the state court and county ordinances, violations, and reorder courts, recorders court. So, yep, he got hit with a, yep, he got hit with contempt. Yep, listen. Nobody is above the law. I'm just saying. Listen, it is what it is. Oh, man. So, Everton Blair. So, y'all know Everton Blair stepped down. He said he would not be running for a re-election for the seat he has here in Gwinnett County. Nope. He said he wasn't. Not only did he say that. So, right now, uh, Gwinnett County Board of Education Chair Everton Blair, he was the first. He was the youngest. He was openly gay. And he was the first black to hold that position that he holds right now. But he said he was not going to uh, run again. Right, he was not going to seek re-election in the 2022 board election, and know why? Because he's running for the big dog seat. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, I didn't get my time over here. Let me go for the big dog seat." So he is now. He's running for the state uh, state superintendent of schools. Yeah, go ahead, young man, do your thing. He I, he did his time. Not did his time. It sounded like he went to jail, right? Well, he was a, he was a chair over here from 2018 to present. And he said, you know what, I feel, I'm sorry, this is what he said, I'm, I'm ready to do bigger things, bigger things, better things, I spent my time over there, I need to do things on a bigger level, so now he's running for um, the state seat, so go ahead, do your thing, we're watching you, we'll be talking about you, we hopefully we can get you on the Popcorn and Politics show, we're definitely watching you though, that's what we do, Everton is young, and he's ambitious, and he's going for the state house, he did his thing in Gwinnett County, now he's going for the big dog seat, alright, Listen, I'm going to my last song, and I'm coming back and giving you my word of inspiration for the day because I have to go to the county and put my mask on. So y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back after the song.
I got for you today, but I gotta go. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration. And here goes. Those who don't believe in the magic will never find it. I'm gonna say that one more time. Those who don't believe in the magic will never find it. What do you believe in? Think about that for a second. You hear the calling? Do you believe in the calling? Listen, I believe in magic. Say what you want to say about me. I believe in magic. Like right now, this NFT is all magical to me. It's like magic. I'm believing in it. I'm believing that it's going to happen. I'm believing that it's going to help me change some things in not only my life, but in a whole lot of other people's lives because I believe in the magic. That's all I got for you. Listen, if you miss any episode of this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to the past episodes there. Also, sign up for the newsletter. If you want to stay in the know and get the Morning Star, yep, that's what it's called, the Gwinnett Morning Star. That's my newsletter. Yes, you can go sign up for the Gwinnett Morning Star to stay in the loop every Monday morning. It goes out with news and a word of inspiration. So just in case you missed the show, you can still get some inspiration in the morning on Monday to kick off your day. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. And follow me on the Twitter at GM Gwinnett, the number one. GM Gwinnett, the number one. And if you listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, find your favorite two episodes and give it five stars. Like, love, and subscribe. Comments. I thank you for that. Thank you for listening. You could have been anywhere, but you spent the last 38 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. Stay safe out there, my friends. Stay safe. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.